Hello everyone, it is Mr. Subsip, and today do another Shining Fates open, opening with some cereal packs sprinkled in. I did find one more. I went back to that Walmart, the same Walmart that had probably like a couple dozen boxes left of the Cocoa Puffs. Picked up one more just so I can make this an octet opening since it says five packs. We have the Shiny Bolton V Collection box. This is a Walmart exclusive, and this is actually the first time I noticed that they actually have some of the Pokemon within the set on, uh, on the box itself. Here's what's contained inside of the box. I got this for $24.99 in the toy section at a Walmart. So, fairly lucky. But this is the last of the trio that I'll need to open. And it's different from the tins in that it only comes with five packs, but it has a jumbo card, and then it's $5 less. So, tins come with six cards, and only the small promo, no jumbo promo. And I think these are a little bit better to display. They just take up more space. All right, let's get this open. So, we'll start out with the code for the box. Very nice. We have the Jumbo Bolton promo, which I'm, I definitely like the Jumbo Shiny cards. They just look really nice. And they're actually in fairly good condition too. Like, obviously I'm not gonna get this graded, but very good condition for a Jumbo card. We have the regular Bolton V. This is my second copy of this card. So it'll probably be added to my duplicates binder, whichever one is worse, the one that I already have or this one. So I already preemptively opened these out of their like because these are like double packaged in the cereal boxes. And I just realized now that I should have probably kept them all like sealed just in case I do pull the last two hollows because then there's really no point for me to open anymore. So you have five Shining Fates packs, two cereal packs to make kind of an octet. These aren't, you know, full packs, but let's see. So we'll do a Shining Fates cereal pack, Shining Fates cereal pack, two Shining Fates cereal pack, and then we'll end with one Shining Fates. Hopefully we get some good pulls. Uh, the two hollows that I think I need left is Hatena, and then I think one other one from the cereal packs. From Shiny Fates, I've honestly pulled everything that I wanted. I wanted the amazing rares, and I wanted uh, and I wanted the Shiny Ditto VMAX, and I've pulled the Shiny Ditto VMAX three times, and I bought the Kyogre Amazing Rare as well, and then I pulled the Yveltal Amazing Rare, and the Reshiram Amazing Rare I pulled as well, so. Yeah, maybe at this point, just some of the full arts that I need, and I guess a Charizard would never hurt. Rowlet and Frostmoth Hollow. Nice. Very nice. Very good card within the game itself. We have my first cereal pack. So once again, you're guaranteed the Pikachu Hollow, but you're not guaranteed any other hollows within here. So normally I would cover up the Pikachu, but it's obvious that you're getting it. Ah, oh, so we got Sword and Shield Base and Sword and Shield Base Bulk. I'll just put that to the side. I'll sleeve it later. Got another Shiny Fate Sex featuring Shiny Toxtricity. It's currently Thursday, May 27th when I'm filming this. That is a Thursday, right? Yeah. So have a long weekend ahead, which I'm very excited for. Hopefully get some time because I know next week is going to be a pretty, worth, pretty rough work week. So... I'm going to try to put that to the side and just focus on good times. Ooh, that's a reverse rare indeedy. I really like this card. And Boss's Orders, another fairly useful card in the game. Second cereal pack. Once again, still missing those two hollows. we got a Pikachu and... Oh my, is this... Okay, not the same bulk, but got another Pikachu. Just so you know, I have a ton of these Pikachu hollows now. I guess the hunt will still continue since I only have one more cereal pack, so... It's literally impossible for me to pull the ones that I truly need. Let's see. Got energy, Dartrix, ball guy. But I'm curious how you guys have been, if you guys have been able to find product. I know targets are pretty much off the table, but Walmart's every now and then you have some luck. Reverse Hall, Spinarak, and Adrenal. Wow, this, is a, this has been a poor collection box so far. Um, I'm planning on going to Walmart again tomorrow because Friday is when my Walmart restocks. We usually go around noon. Sometimes we get super lucky and there's a bunch of stuff, like you guys have seen in my previous videos where I show like a little video of me at Walmart. And then sometimes you get there and there's just absolutely nothing. So there's definitely somebody that comes by and probably buys everything because there's no way like the average person is just going through. And Because when I go there, I only get stuff that I haven't opened yet. I'm not buying, you know, all 20 boxes, even though it would be probably worthwhile if I were to like resell. There's a Choodle and another Frost Moth Hollow. Wow. This opening is very interting. I think I have a playset now. Got those two, and I think I have a 
least a couple more. One from Sword and Shield, and then one from the one that I have in my Shining Face Binder. So yeah, I got a play set. Okay, last chance. Please. I really like this card, but I'm hoping I get another holo. Oh my gosh, no hollows at all. All Sword and Shield base bulk, no Rebel Clash. Dang, that's sad. Dang, this might be an opening with nothing. That'll be uh, pretty sad, actually, but not, not entirely an outlier either, though, because, you know, people get so used to, you know, filming videos where they get a ton of pulls or only posting when they get a ton of pulls, and it just gives a false reality because then people think they can just go to the store and you know, they'll drop 20 bucks and get some amazing cards, which it is possible. You know, a lot of people will get one pack and get something, but it is not... It is not the more common occur. Oh. oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I actually ended up pulling the one amazing rare that I bought. And Volcanion. Wow. That is awesome. So at least now I can say that I've pulled... Did I buy any? No, no, no. I, I bought some of the amazing rares from Vivid Voltage. I think I only pulled three out of the six from Vivid Voltage. But now I have actually pulled every single one from shining face which is only three wow that's beautiful i think i think i like this copy better than the one that i purchased centering off a little bit on the back but overall the front looks pretty solid and this is my favorite amazing rare from shining face so very nice not a complete drought so pretty content and you got two for, you got two hollow rares and a reverse rare that's honestly not bad at all so yeah that's pretty much all i have for this video, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your second video of mine, consider subscribing. If you like what you saw, leave a like. And if you don't like what you saw, give me some feedback down below or a dislike. And yeah, I have links down below to a lot of good things. Um, more playlists that are videos similar to this or just, you know, things in general. I also ha always have timestamps and everything. So if you want to skip around for future videos, if you watch another video of mine, there's that option too. But yeah, I will lead you guys right into the recap.